Hello and welcome to the FS19 mod review. Now I know it's shock horror, I'm actually looking at a vulture this time. Those who are in my streams really know uh, the joke on that one. I do like them really, honest. But we have the little vulture A series here. Got three different, four tractors, but only three different tractors here. But four different tar configurations on them. The one closest to us is the biggest of the three sizes of tractor. Got the A114 Plus with front weights on Michelin tars. Downsides, I will always say with Michelin's, there's only this one size, which is a little bit um, frustrating. But they look a nice tractor. Everything is attached, everything is nice and clear around the back there. With the plating and marking. We've got the, well this is the 114 plus, this is the 114, the 114, in blue with aloe loader brackets, loader slightly the wrong colour, it's in Lemkin blue, that's the nearest one I thought I could find, hope you can match the bracket colours, got manufacturer's standard front linkage on it, and trellyborg wide tyres with weights. We then have the 104 on twin trellyborg narrow tyres. Again, wheels all attached on these, not held in by magnetic force. And you'll notice on the cabs there's various options on the roof as well. Followed by a little 104 as standard with the communal knocking tyres. So no beacons on that one, two beacons on that one, that one. And twin beacons and the Yara Ense sensor and fertilizer on this one. But there's some hidden gems on these tractors. So, I'm going to bring the display up for this because you'll need to watch what's going on as well. So, with this one, we have got N. Folds the beacons. You'll see at the bottom it says Control Group Hydraulics. Now, K and M, I haven't seen one do this before. Want the lift arms up as we go down the road? Well, let's have them up. So K and M, or in my case, twisting the joystick left to right, raises and lowers our rear lift arms. <coughs> Which is quite a nice touch because I'd usually have them up going down the road. Probably not that high, but. Uh, if anything I say going a bit high, somewhere around there probably. If I press G, it changes it to windows and the same again K and M open and close the back window. Go to G again, doors, left hand door. Open cover is literally the beacons on all of them, there's no difference with that. If I press again, a trailer attacher now. This solves the age-old problem we've had in 19 of what happens if the trailer goes too high. Well, let's just lower the hook down, shall we? So we can slide that up and down. And group 5, I will have to show you that one once we get a trailer on it. Because it won't do anything as that hook hitch is not present currently. We're back to group 1 again. So lighting-wise... We've got front and side, rear work, front work, so everything's working there. Both beacons, and all the indicators. Moving into cab, everything looks <clears throat> decent in here, not out of place. of lack in the detail in the dash area I would say. Gauges aren't actually functioning in there since we've got no diesel. Brake pedals work <clears throat> but accelerator pedal does not. So let's give this the old uh, dynamic hose check. 
the um, driver there, you may hurt your wrist doing that sort of manoeuvre. The steering wheel does move sufficient turns. I've never quite managed to get my wrist to do that before. Nothing you can do about that with the AI, I do know. So that goes on to our low hook. Don't like it down there? Well, let's uh, press G a couple of times. Let's have it up there, shall we? Down there. So you can vary the height that goes to. You will be able to remove it whilst it's stuck on that control group. So what we have to do is change it back to where it says nil zero and we can use it again. We have our bailey here. Which goes onto the ball hitch interestingly, which is the one I wanted us to be able to just look at. So we've got control group 5, low attacher, and we can move that up and down to get the trailer as high as we wish. It's not quite right. That does kind of solve the problems we've been having. You see dynamic hoses working on all of them. Because we've manually set the height of the lift arms, they're staying up. As you can see, that's all working. Let's spawn to the right height as well. So we'll now just try to plow on here. See what happens. Bit of luck. So we press G. With anything on there, it won't work. You can't do it manually with something on the lift arms. There we go. Go and give this tractor a run out in the uh, field. Hide that up going now, we don't need that. Nice sounding little tractor. is for 140 horsepower, this track is slightly below that. So let's just get that back round off hydraulics. On to nil, otherwise it won't function. This tractor is under the horsepower required for the plow, but it's uh, pulling it quite nicely. Issues there. Not often we see that much movement in the steering wheel on these tractors, these mods. On the ground as it should be. It's getting dirty, so no issues in that respect either. Just try doing. Just get a front weight at the shop. We'll test the front linkages out. Don't mind which one. So we know it's going to work on rear. Okay. 
Got one with front linkage here. We we'll have this. Uh, up while we do this. Are we going to get a control group for that or not? Let's have a look. Hydraulics 1, windows, doors, trailer, trailer low, and nil. So, no, no separate hydraulic control for that. So, that's that front linkage. We'll try the other one as well. Then we'll have a look at these in the shop. So all the pairs that should do there. So not bad at all. Everything's connected. Hydraulic connectors there. This one looks to have a trailer clevis in the front there as well. So we will just check that. If it's going to attach or not. See if they configured that as an attacher. They have. So we have dynamic hose capability and cable capability on the front as well there. So that is all good. Not very often you go and do that with the front linkage, but uh, it works. So let's have a look in the shop at these now. So under small tractors. Let's get the right ones. It's these ones. So we've got our little A series here. We've got configurations of rim colours. But any rim colour change you make <coughs> will cost you a thousand pounds. Main colour configurations. No colour option, uh, no cost options here. <coughs> So it doesn't matter what colour you go for, it's not going to cost you anything. We've got front attachments here, so we've got nothing white. Stippling a front hydraulics and factory fitted. Trelleborg wheels as standard with whites, wide with whites. Rare twins, all round twins, narrows, rare twin narrows. Twin narrows all round and back to standard. Michelin just one size, which is unfortunate. That's about the only letdown I think with this. Would have liked to see more Michelin tire options in there. And Nokian one size. So we have no beacon, no sensor. Just the sensor. Left beacon with sensor. Right beacon with sensor. Twin beacons with sensor and nothing again. GPS, if we put with, we gain the dome up there and the screen in the cab. That screen looks very much like a green star screen from out here. So, design colour, not going to change anything with that. Got A104, <coughs> we've got two. Actual GPS ones they look like. Got ME track guide as well. That's the one which was on some of the Fent mods we had early on. So A104, A114, A114 plus 135 horsepower. Back to A104. Then front loader attaches. No stall and allo or quickie. And we can change the colour of them as you can see so that is our little Vulture A series 
which I'm afraid is a PC only mod. It's off F or I've found it on FBM. A bit of mods, so I'll pop a link in the description to that below. But for now I'll say thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.